Legal Bookkeeping, an exercise on conveyancing transactions and trust investment, Section 78.2, Capital A. Let's take a look at an example to help better illustrate the principles outlined in the section Conveyancing Transactions and Trust Investment, Section 78.2, Capital A. The following are the instructions to the question. A. Do not make journal entries. B. Complete all the necessary ledger accounts. C. Ignore dates for this exercise and include folios. D. The firm is a VAT vendor. E. No need for statements of account. Record the following transactions that took place in the month of August 20XX. Raymond, the purchaser, purchased a property from Mr. Smith, the seller, for the amount of 1 million rand. Your firm was instructed to attend the transfer of the property. 1. Raymond pays a deposit of 100,000 rand into the firm's trust banking account. 2. Raymond pays another deposit of 50,000 rand for the costs into the firm's trust banking account. 3. You pay SARS for the transfer duty in the amount of 37,500 rand on behalf of Raymond. 4. You invest an amount of 112,500 Rand in an interest-bearing Section 78-2 Capital A account for the benefit of the purchaser. 5. The transfer and the bond are registered. You receive 900,000 Rand from the bond attorneys. 6. You close the investment account and receive an amount of 115,000 Rand into your trust account. 7. You pay the estate agent 15,000 Rand on behalf of the seller. 8. You record your fee of 12,500 Rand, including VAT. 9. You account to the seller and the purchaser and pay the monies due to them. There is no need to draw the statements of the account. 10. You transfer your fee from your trust account to your business account. Let's create the solution. Transaction 1. Raymond pays a deposit of 100,000 Rand into the firm's trust banking account. First, you debit the trust cash book as these are funds received by the firm. To complete the double entry, you credit the trust ledger account of Raymond Smith as you are holding the funds in trust. You record the date, the description, the folio and the amount accordingly. Transaction 2. Raymond pays another deposit of 50,000 Rand for the costs into the firm's trust banking account. Again, you debit the trust cash book as these are funds received by the firm. To complete the double entry, you credit the trust ledger account of Raymond Smith as you are also holding the funds in trust. Transaction 3. You pay SARS for the transfer duty in the amount of 37,500 Rand on behalf of Raymond. The firm is paying the money received for the costs to be paid to SARS. This results in a reduction of the amount held in the trust cash book as well as the balance in the trust ledger account of Raymond Smith. Therefore, you credit the trust cash book. Next, you debit the trust ledger of Raymond Smith. Transaction 4. You invest an amount of 112,500 Rand in an interest-bearing account, Section 78.2, Capital A, for the benefit of the purchaser. This transaction is recorded in two parts. For part 1 of this transaction, you credit the trust cash book with the amount of 112,500 Rand and the description is transferred to investment account. You then debit the trust ledger account of Raymond Smith. For part two of this transaction, you open an investment account with the bank and transfer the money from the trust bank account to the investment account. You then debit the investment account. Next, you credit the investment ledger account of Raymond Smith. Transaction five. The transfer and the bond are registered you receive 900,000 Rand from the bond attorneys. You debit the trust cash book as money is received from the bond attorneys. 
you credit the trust ledger account of Raymond Smith. Transaction 6. You close the investment account and receive an amount of 115,000 Rand into your trust account. This transaction is recorded in three parts. Part 1. You record the interest received on the investment. You debit the investment account with the interest received. The interest received is 2,500 Rand, calculated as follows. 115,000 Rand minus 112,500 Rand. You then credit the investment ledger, Raymond Smith, with an amount of 2,500 Rand. Part 2. You credit the investment account with an amount of 115,000 Rand to close it and bring the balance to zero. You debit the trust cash book with the funds received from the investment account. Part 3. You close the investment ledger of Raymond Smith and transfer the balance to the trust ledger of Raymond Smith. You debit the investment ledger to close it with an amount of 115,000 Rand. You credit the trust ledger to transfer the balance. You record the description, the folio and the amount accordingly. Transaction 7. You pay the estate agent 15,000 Rand on behalf of the seller. You credit the trust cash book as the funds are paid. You then debit the trust ledger of Raymond Smith as the payment is made on their behalf. Transaction 8. You record your fee of 12,500 Rand, including VAT. This transaction is recorded in the business ledger account. You debit your business ledger for Raymond with the full amount as it is due and receivable from him. You credit the fee account with an amount of 10,964 Rand and 91 cents, calculated as follows. 12,500 Rand divided by 114 times by 100. You credit the VAT account with an amount of 1,535 Rand and 9 cents, calculated as follows. 12,500 divided by 114 times 14. Transaction 9. You account to the seller and purchaser and pay the monies due to them. You credit the trust cash book with the amounts paid. Payment to the seller, Mr. Smith, 1 million rand minus 15,000 rand equals 985,000 rand. Payment to the purchaser, Raymond, is 2,500 rand for the interest from investing the money. You debit the trust ledger account for Raymond Smith with the following amounts. Payment to the seller, Mr. Smith, 1 million rand minus 15,000 rand equals 985,000 rand. Payment to the purchaser, Raymond, is 2,500 rand for the interest from investing the money. Transaction 10. You transfer your fee from your trust to your business account. This transaction is recorded in two parts. Part 1. You credit the trust cash book with an amount of 12,500 Rand. You then debit the trust ledger with the amount of 12,500 Rand. Part 2. You debit the business cash book as the funds are received, being 12,500 Rand. Lastly, you credit the client account with an amount of 12,500 Rand as it has been paid. Now you have completed the exercise.